Huel in here, Huel in here, and Huel in here. This one's for the bike, this one's breakfast, and this one, I'm not sure, maybe more breakfast. The Wingman on this triple header with Luis Fonzi and Daddy Janky. It was written by Luis Fonzi, so of course he deserves top billing there. Alright, I'm in Cardiff, Village Hotel. <laughs> right, I think we're the only ones ready. It is 5 a.m. It's pretty bright, cold, no torrential rain. Did you do it at that time though, torrential rain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, grim. Did your chain start squeaking? Yeah, it did. Yeah. I had to borrow some oil. Well, yeah. Steal some oil. Or something. <laughs> that was good fun. I can feel my fingers again. And the sun's come out. A bit of warmth. Yeah, so we're in the first few hours of the peacocks and kites. 300k ride. I got some company today. We've got a bunch of other riders. That's David. Hello. Gurning up hills already. I can get some scenery and slow mo it. The dog. Hello, the dog. I feel myself getting a stamp. Ian, can you say Lynn Brianne for me? Lynn Brianne. <laughs> That's how you say it properly. RP? <laughs> yeah. That's what I want to get. So like, uh, like a ski jump. That's what I'm wondering. My water. <laughs> That's awesome. You, uh, not a cad, no, not a cad, no. The pony. It's like a it's like a horse but smaller. <laughs> oh, black beauty. What? Pooh brown beauty. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? This is the best bit. Yeah, this is the best bit. Where's the spa shop? I'm concerned about a spa shop I don't know about. He opens at seven, I always go and see him because he's got a try to find yogurt. <laughs> so I have a try to find yogurt and he's got a coffee machine. It's like the early version of Costa coffee machine. Ah. But he's and always very nice. 20p for the toilet. Oh yeah, the downer is, and they've got proper toilets, but now they've got 20p toilets. So... Is it like a service station? Well, <laughs> it's the closest thing you get to mid Wales to a service station, yeah. right? Huh. It's surprising you have a lot of stuff in that spa shop. Yeah, there's loads of stuff. It's tiny, but it yeah. seems to have so much stuff. Yeah, it's really So we're here. We're around the reservoirs and the most beautiful part of the ride. Check the scenery out. This is the reason to come here. Oh, I can hear a cuckoo. That was definitely a cuckoo, right? There's Robin behind me, taking it easy. Easy day out, enjoying it. We've done about 100k and we're on the reservoir around the most scenic bit of the route. See it in the background? Yeah. It's time for a photo stop. It's gone a bit gravelly. Whoa, this is very remote. You don't think you'll find something like this out in the middle of the nowhere, would you? Bivy spot, definitely. So I'm just chilling with the old stream. Really clear water. Perfect for mixing with fuel. <laughs> I've had about six or seven scoops of fuel so far. I had beans on toast at a cafe in Landovery. 
and the rest of it's just been cool. Um, can't really drink it on the go because it won't fit through the the top of the bottle. You've got to unscrew the bottle and drink it as if it's from a glass, if you see what I mean. So it's not completely convenient, but it's pretty good so far. Been given the tour of this chapel, and we've got a lovely looking outbuilding. Look at that in the middle of nowhere. We've got a whole building dedicated to a toilet. The toilet that I think so. Wow, catered for. Look at that. Nice. Secret but not so secret overnight Welsh bivy spot, that's what I'm calling it. Look at that. Sit down, again. That means you just don't have to bring a camping mat, so you're just warm. Ideal. So it's raining. There's a phone box in the middle of nowhere. What would Wales be without a bit of rain, huh? I'm hoping it's not going to be too heavy. About 120 k's in, and we've got Tregarin coming up soon. I think there's two guys slightly lost over there. ultimate shop find here in Tregaren Spa. We've got ripe bananas everywhere. Look how ripe they are. Absolute beauties. Amanda's boobs win Britain's Got Talent. Look at these absolute winners. This is what you need when turning the group vegan. Sure, there's some rain over there. The rain's hit. It is raining, and we're in Wales, so there's no surprises there. Hopefully, this will pass. <laughs> he hasn't seen us. He hasn't seen us. Hi, Ian. Hi, Ian. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> we're just sheltering for a minute. We'll be out in a sec. Coming, yeah. coming, coming. Oh, this is. Oh, he's got shoes covered. Oh, look, you've got oh. everything. Yeah. Proper sensible. Yeah. Nice top off the cotton mud. Oh, well done. Your rain coat bags hanging out the back, collecting water in it. Oh, it's a smoke. It's smoke. Oh, yeah, it does that. <laughs> mine does that sometimes. I took mine off. Well, I know, but I lose things. I know, I know. I know where mine is. <laughs> oh, it's there, look. Damn this rain. I haven't got a jacket. Uh, not that that matters, I've got wet feet and everything. I'm going to stop until it passes. Mountain road! Turn right to the Elan Valley. Wow, here it is then. Here's the valley. Spectacular. This is why we come here. Well recommend this ride. Book it in for next June. Nice 300 in the, the heart of Wales. The sun will come out at some point. It's warming me up now. The rain's gone. It's just a shame my shoes are filled with water. So we're just going to have to ride through that I think. Wow, that was lucky. Rain just suddenly hit again. And I found this girt tree to hide behind. Which is delaying my ride. I'm going to be slow. I'll still make it in the time limit, I'm pretty sure. So how's the fuel going, you ask? Wow. I had a big pouch full of nine scoops. And I filled this up with six scoops before the ride. The six scoops is gone, the nine scoops 
half of it's gone, the other half of it's in here now. So I'm on my last, I don't know, four scoops at the moment. And I've done 100 miles. I've got another 100 miles to go, so that wasn't enough. Uh, the other thing, for it to really pack a punch, you need it quite thick. But it's stuck to the inside there, it's pretty thick. Uh, I had it quite diluted before and just made me pee a lot and didn't really pack a punch. Not much carbohydrate in it really. So I've had beans on toast, I've had all this fuel and I've had to supplement it with a little bit of energy bar. And I've only done 100 miles. I've had five bananas as well. So uh, maybe I just, I'm abnormal and I need more food than everyone else, but um, not sure. Anyway. I can see some sun over there on that hill. I think I quite like to live on that island in the middle. Live on that island. No other humans around to bother me. Maybe I'll just maybe I just like swim to the shore and no, I need to have a little boat thing. I need to have a inflatable boat every morning. Get on that. Take a take a hundred mile bike ride around there around the uh, water, around these roads, go back to back to the island, sleep, and then repeat. I think that's probably what I'd do in an ideal world. Well, I've been stopping for all this rain, and I've lost everyone, but I can see some uh, tyre tracks on the floor in front, so I uh, might be able to track them down soon. They're coming up to the Elan Valley Visitor Centre, which is a control. I have to get a stamp on my card. So maybe there'll be people there. I made it a bit, the queue's a bit big. The sun's out and we're off again. We have 90 k's to the finish. Uh, well, I've been sorted out with custard donuts. Woo! Talibont now, and we've got 60 k's to go. Doing alright, getting a bit tired. I've got to sort out some of this, put some water in with it, I think. On the final climb, just the final climb, I guess you could call it the final climb. This is pretty steep. Yeah. I guess if you can get up this, that's the rise pretty much nailed. Must be on 250 kilometers now. I'm in 34-32 gear ratio. And I can just about spin up this. Might be able to get up it without out the saddle maybe. There's Robin. Let's see if I can catch Robin. <laughs> wow, some scenery here. Look how strong Robin is. Oh. Can't catch that. There we go, done. Half past nine and it's still light. Rob decides to go for a pee one kilometre from the end. Yeah. Wee. Ta da. Well done, Rob. Thank you. Lovely. That was a good ride. Oh. You certainly know how to ride an Ordax. <laughs> <laughs> 